Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to show you guys the best data analytics real world problems with Python. Why am I recommending this course for you guys? Is because I'm actually taking the course uh, by myself on, on Udemy and actually it's it's actually one of the best. As a matter of fact, uh, I think I'm going to another link. Let's go back to Udemy. Uh, I've taken the course for myself and the instructor is not like other instructors it's actually very helpful and it follows up all his students and if you are stuck somewhere immediately ask him a question he'll be there to help you and give you that first hand help that you need uh there are many courses on on youtube but most times you're stuck into that error there and uh the YouTube instructor sometimes they usually don't reply and it's very frustrating. Uh, but one thing about this course is it's very very organized. This is why I'm recommending you for you guys. So let's go ahead and search the course. It's a uh, data analytics uh, real world uh, problem with Python. I think this should be able to filter out the exact cost for us. So it's coming up. So here it is. This is the cost. I'm in Nigeria, so it's cost for about three thousand five hundred in uh, my currency, which is about ten dollars. So, so if I open this course here now, I think I should be alerted that I have bought the course already. Yes, you see, I purchased this course. Uh, March 2022. So let me give you an overview of this course here so you guys can see what I'm trying to talk about. Well, uh, this course here has about uh, five projects in it. Five projects, real world projects. The first one is about uh, text analytics, which basically we use. Uh, he used YouTube case study. The second one, did about time series project where he did some stock market analysis using stock market case study and the third one was about geopartial analysis where he used a restaurant's uh a zomata case study about restaurants in mumbai and all that then the sales data analysis using e-commerce case study and the other one i think this is the indian premier league the ipl data analysis the case the sports case study the course is very is very very lucrative and rich and the instructors each of the the, the project have take home assignments and when i mean he follows up his students i mean he follows up his students let me let me show you guys an example uh no please come here so uh here is my question and answer with him when I was taking the course. I've actually taken this course as a matter of fact, and you can see I've already got him a certificate. I've taken this course, and this is the first time I enrolled from for the course, and I was having issues. And I think I sent him a message here. You see, after extracting the emoji list from the command text, I had to define another sample size of one thousand because the emoji. We very much have to define the little sample size from it. Then after passing in the program above, I got the error that says string object is not callable. So this was the program actually like I was trying to I was referring to. And funny enough, he replied me immediately. He said, Hey Isaac, one thing that you have to understand is you have to code it from scratch, and it means you cannot uh, uh, rely on count function count function of the list. I mean, it was very helpful for me. And after some number of times following me up, he later gave me a tips on how to do that. And as a matter of fact, I was able to come to a conclusion. And most of the uh, projects that I, I, I did, I didn't really have any errors and everything went smoothly. Uh, one thing you notice, this course is meant for those who have a uh, basic uh, knowledge in data analytics uh, so you need to know at least some 
you just know how to play with some libraries like pandas matplotlib then the numpy for your dimensional array for multi dimensional array and uh, which is why i recommend you guys a friend of my youtube channel kit gali uh he's very good if you are looking for the basic in a uh, data analytics you want to do the basic data analytics then come to this channel here this channel here kit gali i'm going to drop the link in the description as well as for that course i'll also drop a link in the description so just come here he has been playing with these things for so long i think he did some board game strategy there's some data science where he spoke most about and did an in-depth course you can see here he has about 2.1 million views three years ago so you know it's something huge and this python pindrive data science covers everything it takes about one hour it covers everything you need to know about pandas then matplotlib then the second library is a plotting python plotting tutorial with matplotlib and python and pandas as it combined the two library here then you still do some uh real world problem using some algorithm some psychic length library which has some algorithm in it then you also did another one here then it's very nice you just come to this channel here and come to this playlist this data science here and select some uh basic courses it's user it's beginner friendly i mean and it's something that you're you going to enjoy so once you so once you take one or two of these courses here and you think you are ready then you don't have to jump from one place to another. I would advise you to come here and get this particular course here. It will give you the basic understanding of how it feels like working in an organization with this particular uh, project here. I've actually taken them and believe me, uh, the kind of the level of understanding I have, then it's, it's, it's different from now. I can testify. So I'm, I'm recommending it to you guys, which I, I think is really going to help. And because a lot of input function in Python which you need in data analytics are utilized here and a lot of visual, visualization uh, libraries are also used here you can see such as plotly, folium, text blob these are very uh, this text blob here is a, actually a it's actually a function I think for sentiment analysis then GeoPy other uh, libraries for visualization and all that this is this is just an overview i hope this video helps you and if it helps you go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel then you you, you need to subscribe so that uh anytime i post a very nice video like this you'll be the first to be alerted uh thank you for watching stay blessed